This is the Weather Extreme video for Thursday afternoon, the 18th of February. James Spann and man, does it feel good? And you think it feels good today? Wait until tomorrow. Uh, let's take a look out the window. A bright, sunny winter sky. That's the scene from Mount Chiha looking right down the spine of the Talladega Mountains on a sunny afternoon in February. Here's our Coleman Sky Cam down below. That is Lake Katoma. And Hamilton's Sky Cam focused on the football field at Hamilton High School, home of the Aggies. A sun drenched football field at that. Well, there you go. You can see how the flow is uh, beginning to de amplify and uh, shifting to a more zonal flow. That means uh, air coming in from the Pacific instead of the Arctic. And yeah, it's warming up. Look at Birmingham, 50 degrees at 2 o'clock. Tuscaloosa in Alexander City at 55. And uh, we should be well up in the 50s tomorrow. And parts of West Alabama could touch the 60-degree mark. And I think everybody has a chance of seeing low 60s over the weekend. Around the nation, pretty quiet. Just a few scattered winter weather advisories, but uh, no major storms in the short term. Rain for the next five days. Valid through Tuesday morning at uh, 6 o'clock. And this is suggesting rain amounts of about three-quarters to one inch across Alabama, and almost all of that would be late Sunday night and Monday. Here's the 12Z GFS at noon tomorrow. There's your zonal flow. Down below that, the air's dry, so sunny and warmer, mid to upper 50s. Saturday, I think we do hit 60 on Saturday. Uh, uh, partly sunny, again, uh, there might be a speck on radar somewhere, but I doubt you'll see one. And the same thing on Sunday. Although moisture will begin to return, you can see uh, the hint of showers over southwest Alabama. Uh, for now, we'll again just mention a small chance of a shower during the day. The better chance of showers will hold off until Sunday night and Monday. And yeah, we note Sunday. Uh, looks like a pretty good snow there for Wichita, Kansas, maybe Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Kansas City with that storm. And then Monday, you can see the short wave rotating through here down below. The surface low uh, is north of us, northeast of us, and the rain pretty much is over. So, again, it looks like midnight, uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, midnight Sunday night until noon Monday. That's the main 12-hour window for rain with rainfall amounts of about one-half to one inch. Tuesday of next week, weather turns colder, cold air advection. Wednesday, uh-oh, here comes a storm out of Texas. Could it mean? Yes. Uh, the model is suggesting a snowstorm for North Alabama on Thursday of next week. But, hey, come on, this is model output. We're not forecasting that. Nobody in their right mind would forecast a snowstorm seven days in advance. But it's on the board. It's been on the board for several runs. We'll just watch that uh, in coming days and see uh, what goes on with that. Now, in this case, the cold air is going to be questionable. Certainly not as deep as the big snow we had uh, last Friday. And we'll just have to see. Again, there's no way to resolve details on that. Just be aware the idea is on the table. And there's a look at the Friday, the end of next week. Cold vortex sets up over the northeast and down below. It just turns cold in the wake of that storm. And that's why we're telling you don't think spring is here to stay for a while. We've still got a lot of cold weather left. March 3rd. Pretty good looking trough west of here. That looks wet, maybe stormy. You know, that is uh, tornado season. Into the forecast on the 6th of March, another trough to the west, another opportunity for rain. And again, you can still see there's, there's evidence of snow there in Texas and Arkansas and northwestern Tennessee. So uh, more than likely temperatures stay below average for a while, but slowly but surely we'll be trending up as we get closer to the spring season. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. And uh, we'll be live at the Storm Alert show this evening at 5 and 6 in Moundville, about 10 miles south of Tuscaloosa. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.